Bitcoin is creating a massive trap right now and on today's video I'm gonna be exactly explaining about why we are currently creating a trap what is exactly happening on the price action on Bitcoin right now what signals are about to be flashing on the market and more importantly Q4 just started and what can we expect of Q4 October and many more important data points will be getting discussed on today's video including the fact about what currently is happening with altcoins because while Bitcoin is is indeed coming down ever so slightly altcoin showed so much strength we've not seen in the last three months here so i've got a lot of things to discuss on today's update video so don't forget to once again slap the like button back above 1000 likes will be highly appreciated and with that of being said let me jump straight away in towards the content so first of all after yesterday the semi futures opened again here we started to see that bitcoin was dropping massively here on the last day of september and right now it looks to be that the market is looking so what bottom out here we are seeing that the most exponential drop phase is most likely over and we're seeing some slight consolidation right here with potentially creation of a different trend right now in the imminent short term but where i want to be looking more closely towards is currently we're creating this upward sloping support line still in the early time frame and this is also exactly the level where bitcoin is once again bouncing from right now here and, and if we're currently looking at the early time frame we can also see that actually on the rsi we're starting to create a lower low over there, while in fact the price action on Bitcoin is creating a clear higher low. And that basically means that we're currently creating a hidden bullish divergence, and that is ultimately a very great signal in the market to see like this. And I do believe that, I think that yes, Bitcoin is not necessarily looking all too bearish, but as soon as Bitcoin does break below the upward solving support line, then we could be potentially a little bit screwed here. And there are a few other important levels to be looking at. And that is of course, if we do go down here, this very important level right here, which you can see over here, provided major resistance for Bitcoin. Also right here, once we broke below it, we saw a big draw up towards the downside. And just like you can see over here as well, we had a big move towards the upside consolidation and we go down. Similar move like we got right here, right? And I think that, yes, the bigger drop towards the downside is only going to be happening if you then break below such an important point. And that in this case, right, could be potentially this level we're currently looking at or you could be approaching it differently, like this level right here. So there are going to be two major levels I'm going to be watching. And if Bitcoin breaks below those two levels, I think we could potentially fall even lower. And Q4 could be not necessarily so strong here. But that is, of course, a thing I'm not necessarily believing in. But I do want to be pointing out that this is very important support. And if we break below it, we are most likely going to be seeing, at least for the coming period in the market, for the, let's say, the coming one and a half weeks, a little bit lower price section. I'm not expecting this is going to be happening, but I want to be pointing it out. So 62.5k and 61.5k are the two most important levels of support. If we break below that, we're going to be quite screwed here. But anyways, I don't necessarily believe that is going to be happening because right now it is Q4 in a bull market year. And historically speaking, Q4 in a bull market year has been one of the best performing periods in the market we have ever seen here. And right now we're at the beginning stage and just like every single time in the beginning stage, in 2012 we had a slight drop here before going exponential. 2016 we went quite exponential almost in the first few weeks here. 2020 exactly the same. So what will it be for 2024? Of course, it's not going to be the exact same like the previous cycles, but if history is any indication, Q4 is going to be very good in terms of performance. And if we're just looking at October, which it is right now also, I mean, I call it October, you could call it October, Pumptober, whatever you want here. But yeah, October is right now also starting. And historically speaking, October is one of the best performing months for crypto. And uh, yeah, that is, of course, a very great thing that we're currently over there. And most likely the Bitcoin price action is going to be going quite exponential in this month right here. And that is why i'm saying i don't necessarily believe we're going to be having a breakdown but i do want to be pointing out the most important level of support if we break below that level we're going to be having some trouble of course on the imminent short term here so looking forward on bitcoin we're still creating that falling wage pattern more importantly we uh are currently looking at this massive trend right here, right? We have been consolidating sideways for in about 216 days right now here. You can see that we are creating lower highs every single time. And we actually broke this lower high trend right here uh, with a higher high for the first time in 220 days here. And that is a very great thing here. Now we, of course, broke below that high again here. But you can see this level right here, previously night provided major resistance for Bitcoin, major support right now as well here. We're still holding on towards that level. So as long as we're holding this level, I don't see 
see a big reason to be panicking. We already confirmed that higher high. If we can write a confirm and higher low, which is of course uh, a higher low than this low right here, higher low than this low right here, we're still looking at a major uptrend. So things are not looking so bad as most people are currently saying on the internet because right now I see a lot of people once again flip very bearish again here. Well, ultimately, I want to be extremely bullish for the upcoming period in the market right now here. And if you're looking at the weekly time frame right now, and this 220 day uh, consolidation phase, guys, it looks to be almost ending. We're creating here a major flag pattern here, which is literally about to be breaking out anytime soon here. And currently we're creating a major, major, major uh, crossover almost on the MACD here. And you can see that the last time whenever this, this happened, guys, was over here in October 2023. And that marked also the beginning of this major rally from 27,000 US dollars all the way up here to 70,000 US dollars. So yes, this signal is definitely a thing that you should not be ignoring. And and if this once again is going to take place, Bitcoin could be, of course, at the beginning stage of the next exponential rally towards the upside. So please make sure to not fade this. And the consolidation phase for Bitcoin looks to be almost over. And if you're just looking at the bigger perspective in terms of the slide or the rejection that we're seeing, we're just exactly back at support where we are, where, where we expect that Bitcoin was going to kind of found some support, right? Major support in the past, major resistance in the past, major support, major resistance. And currently, once again, we're finding support on this level. So I don't see a big reason to be panicking on Bitcoin right now here. Yesterday, also, we saw 61 million US dollars inflows on the spot Bitcoin ETF here, which is, of course, great to be seeing here. Also, Q4 has officially started, like I said uh, earlier in this video as well here. And since September, right now, closed in the green here, this only happened three times before. And every single time September did close us in the green, we had an extraordinary Q4. So why wouldn't it play out exactly like it always has here? With September right now turning green here, guys, we could be in for a very bullish Q4 performance. And if we're just looking about where we're currently sitting in the cycle, the most amount of gains are still yet to realize, and they're literally going to get realized in the upcoming weeks right now here. And with right now also the M2, the global liquidity index, breaking out here because of the fact that the Federal Reserve is starting to cut its rates again here. It's easier to borrow money. There's more money supply coming on the market that is ultimately going to be the reason why i believe bitcoin is going to be going much much higher and we are currently seeing this major breakout take place here so this is of course once again a very bullish thing in my opinion and if we're just looking at the euphoria stages in the market we are nowhere near that right now here and if history is any indication guys we're just still in that pre-bull market phase here and the most amount of gains are still yet to realize and whenever i'm going to be seeing signals that we are officially in the bull market it is of course going to be time to potentially scale out of the market I'm also going to tell you that on this channel. So if you want to be making profits in this bull market, if you want to be getting out of the market on time, make sure to follow me on this channel because I'm going to be sharing you all the exact details whenever I think the on-chain metrics are telling us the market is stopping out. I will be sharing you that as well. But right now it is clearly saying the market is not topped out yet here. And that is why I believe it is not necessarily a good time to be bearish right now here. And you can see it also on the MVRV Z score. And the market is not overvalued right now here. This is basically a combination of all the on-chain indicators. And they're telling us that we are not overvalued right now here. And the moment we're going to be entering that overvalued stage here, that is the point I want to be straight away exiting the market. Not straight away, but slowly sell out of the market. But this is not the time right now here yet for us to be selling out of this market. So also looking at Bybit, guys, if you want to be trading Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, don't forget to go to the highest link description of this video, because if you press on this link right here, guys, you will come to this page where you can currently claim a free 500 US dollar euro position, which is highly valuable right now if you can claim this. So make sure to check it out. It's a free 500 US dollar euro position for only signing up an account using that link below, completing your KYC. So if you're interested, check it out in the highest link description of today's video. Also on top of that, you could claim a $30,000 deposit bonus if you uh, are making some large deposits on the exchange. Further on, we can currently see that Bitcoin basically still is in this major consolidation, right? So if you're zooming out here, you can see we're creating a major downward sloping resist line on the top side, major downward sloping support line. There's nothing real big happening so far. We're not seeing a breakout of the bull flag pattern. We're still sitting in the midst of this. And what is actually quite interesting, and this is my thesis on how the market is going to be working this time around here, is that also, just like the previous Bitcoin halving, we had the Bitcoin halving, uh, the Bitcoin dominance still raised uh, after that, and approximately 224 days after the Bitcoin halving is where the market started to be topping out, and that is where altcoin season started. And I mean, I say 2024, but you can even call it like two, 210 days here, actually. 
let me put it also 210 days so according to that altcoin season should be starting in 42 days from now on so if, if it's exactly going to be the same like the previous cycle of course i don't believe the market is going to be exactly the same so it could already start right now or it could start a little bit later so uh, anyways we are right now coming very close towards an altcoin season bitcoin dominance has been rising indeed very significantly very strongly but i do think that this is coming at an end any time soon here so uh yeah this was it for me in today's update video guys if you did learn something from it don't forget to subscribe to the channel i mean currently if i'm looking at the imminent short term i do believe that we're creating somewhat of a rounding bottom structure and ultimately what we're seeing here is that bitcoin is still finding major support on this very important level which is of course very important so guys if you did learn something from this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel stop the like button and I'll see you guys on the next one peace out goodbye